of Cyberpunk is Pixel here, and today I'm joined by Havok. Hi guys! So just after the endings of Mass Effect 3, when people were done getting over their depression and wanting to kill themselves, here comes Mass Effect Andromeda. So Bioware gave us this awesome trailer of Mass Effect Andromeda, which we hope is coming out this year or later next year. Well, they said in 2017 will come out, but we will have to see on in 7 day. They'll maybe give us another little trailer or something. I hope so. And if it doesn't come out, you can expect to see Ava crying on the floor, begging him for someone to kill. Oh yes, because you know how much I love Mass Effect. Okay, so let's go through the pictures of the trailer. So first up, we get a shot of the new ship, which is no longer the Normandy, but now a ship called the Tempest, which seems to be very similar in its design. Yeah, true, I see so. On the ship, we sort of get the vibe of shaped colors type theme, with a black, red, and white. So could this possibly be a sort of memorial ship to the Normandy? Or maybe is it just someone with similar views to ship? Yeah, true, because the last trailer we saw, the person was dressed in Shepard's colors and everything and moved just like him or her. I mean, we have to see. So, obviously the designers and the producers are working hard on this massive project. As we see, none of the other games that Bio produces are any way in production, really, like Dragon Age. Yeah, I can see a lot has changed since the last Mass Effect. As in the graphics they're using now, Frostbite engine. In this next picture, we see our new protagonist standing by what seems to be a navigation console. Yeah, I see, and he's like, and he's standing by uh, like those world that the Elusive Man has. And as you can see next to him, we, there's a there's a Krogan and there's a Salarian, so we all get to see the, those races again. So in this next picture, they we sort of get a vibe of this open, free world, completely different to the last in Mass Effects. We see our protagonist. In an, what seems to be an open desert similar to that that was seen on Mars in Mass Effect 3, and they're walking towards this sort of obelisk type object. Seems to be floating in the sky, but. Yeah, we see this. Uh, this it looks like it's anchored and it could be a ship, and it looks like a beacon from the previous Mass Effect games. What do you think? It's definitely a possibility. But sort of fingers crossed, and if so, are we gonna be getting a Force Awakens vibe here, where it's new characters but exactly the same storyline? Let's hope not, because a lot of people are really psyched to see this new story and gameplay. So in this shot, we see the protagonist shooting a hell of a lot of bullets into some huge ass thing. That's really confusing. <laughs> It looks like one of those creatures from the previous Mass Effect game. Actually, it's very similar. It could be the same, it could be different. It's, there's a lot of similarities that we can see. And it looks like, yeah, they're on a desert place again. And there's stuff in the sky. So, on the character itself, we see a gun. Sort of a weapon system that's very similar to Shepard's in a way. We see the pistol matches similar ones to those in Mass Effect 3. And the way the guns fold in and out connected to the equipment lodge. So here we get a beautiful piece of scenery with some huge monster flying in the sky. Hopefully we don't get to fight that because that would just suck. Well, I hope we do. It also looks like a station, a little station they have there. It could be like a research station or what. Because um, as we know that this uh, or leaked story that, that the protagonist is a, a, as they call a pathfinder, a person they're trying to find new uh, plants for people or any other species to live on. But that's just a theory. As they said, like on the last game, Mass Effect 3, there was an arc that left the Milky Way and came to Andromeda. But it's just a theory and maybe it could be something else. Okay, so... Next shot is something Havoc's really psyched for, as she loves her blue women, though. <laughs> we see a shot of an Asari who seems to be in her younger ages, not yet quite matriarch, but she's also wearing the same armor to protagonists, so they could be allies in some Yeah, in this scene, it looks like what they show us is, is she seems like a goofy type of person. And also, yes, yes, she, she does seem very young. This could be one of our squad members, who knows? I hope so. I mean, I really love biotics and stuff. <laughs> you mean you love the blue. <laughs> Your next victim. You know, right? But then, in near that same shot, we see a facial expression completely change as there seems to be an object pointed towards her head. Seems like sort of a salvage sword, so maybe they're being held hostage or being raided. Well, that could be, or I think Bioware is actually showing us that how they, what they did now, they they can change the facial expressions. It looks much better than the last games, of course. And yeah. So in this shot, we sort of get the vibe that Bioware is trying new things. We don't see the tight, kept together running system as seen in the last three Mass Effect games, but it seems more of a free and loose sort of way of playing. 
as in the next shot we see ship jump <laughs> we see the protagonist jumping and using a biotic slam which we weren't really able to do in the past games yes we were <laughs> um yes in mass effect 3 you can have biotic powers that's what i remember okay the next scene shows the best thing that ever happened i mean the best thing that we had fun with when you think the mako is bad and we can find it rapidly it looks like it it's very fast and we're not gonna it doesn't look like we're gonna like fly pull on our backs on the car and stuff like that i remember that happened to you a lot ah sweet memories of trying to drive and hitting a wall thousands of times over because of some stupid thrust system an idiot invented that <laughs> makes the car go up instead of forwards good memories okay the next scene shows a two krogans throwing which looks like the protagonist or another human which looks like shepherd yes we we love shepherd don't we <laughs> okay so the next scene now is what seems to be what they say it's the ark which carried all the humans and every other species to this andromeda system which also looks like a citadel what do you think yep there's definitely some sort of resemblance there but like um the citadel was destroyed in in the last game so This looks like the Citadel. I mean, I've seen pictures where it, like it has life, but there's gardens on it and stuff. It could be this or it could be something else. But maybe this could be the main space station. And now the part where the reason I'm talking is because Havoc's dying in a corner after the scene. No, no. Okay. We see a room filled with cryopods and one in the center which could show some sort of importance for the actor or protagonist. The scene reveals a young adult saying the words I made it. We made it. So I guess this is when they arrive. They, this could be our protagonist or it could be our squad member because there was a rumor that there's a female squad member named Cora. So this could be her or this could be the like the fem whoever. On the trailer last year in Seven Day, the trailer showed a little name, Ryder, which is the first female that went to space. Like Shepard, Shepard was named after the first male that went into space. So this could be Ryder. We don't really know, but we will find out next year, I guess. Thanks everyone for bearing through our rather unenthusiastic talking, but that's all for me and for Pixel. And that's all for me from Havoc. Goodbye.